The Foreign Affairs Ministers of Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand met on Wednesday to discuss the crisis of influx of irregular migrants in the region. They have agreed to resolve the issue together by upholding their responsibilities in accordance with international and domestic laws, including the provisions of humanitarian assistance to the migrants. Malaysian Foreign Minister Dato Sri Anifa Aman says Malaysia and Indonesia will continue to provide humanitarian assistance to the 7,000 migrants still at sea and offer them temporary shelter. No. There's a need for in-depth discussions in this because, they, of course, as you said, there's economic migrants and there are people who are fleeing their, their area or the country or the region where they do not feel safe anymore. So those are the two issues that we have addressed, the root causes. And uh, as I said, for the time being, uh, the focus is to, f to assist those people in dire need. Well, it, it has to be immediate. It has to be immediate because we can't leave those people out at sea. I think we have reached them out. If you see the same helicopters, I think, dropping supplies to these people. But what we're saying is that they have been on the seas for such a long period of time and the conditions are deteriorating. So what we have suggested is to provide them temporary shelters. What we mean by temporary shelters, that the international community must accept the responsibilities to resettle them in a third country or repatriate them back to the countries of origin. From our previous experiences, there were one more than 50,000 over Rohingyas and some about, I think, more than 100,000 seeking for asylum, asylum seekers. And despite promises by international community, nothing much has been done over the years. So what we are saying, because of the conditions that they are experiencing now, experiencing now, and based on the humanitarian <coughs> factors, we are willing to take them to, to our shores. But what is even more important that they must, be, they must find the international community together with Malaysia, Indonesia, whatever countries affected, they must find a lasting solutions. The illegal migrant rules and human trafficking menace have seen thousands of Rohingyas and Bangladeshis fleeing Myanmar and Bangladesh in recent months. Many found their way to Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand, but others are still stranded in the sea. Anifa says the Malaysian and Indonesian governments views the crisis as an international issue and not one that concerns ASEAN only. I'm very disturbed when you're saying this is ASEAN problem. This is not ASEAN problem. This is a problem of the international community. You're talking about humanitarian uh, assistance. So it is not just restricted. I have mentioned that one, that it is not just ASEAN. But the international community must shoulder part of the burden. That's how we solve it. We are ready to do more. To provide it, there's the commitment from the international community to help. So we are ready to give the humanitarian assistance uh, for those who are still at the open sea. Plus, we are ready to offer a temporary, again, I want to repeat, a temporary shelter provided that the process of resettlement and repatriation can be done within one year. We are not a destination country. Right. We are transiting country. So you'll take them in and put them in a place? Uh... Temporarily, provided that, so you... the, yeah. provided that the process of resettlement and repatriation is confirmed by the international organization. So the... Anifa says as this year's ASEAN chair, Malaysia might call up concerned countries like Myanmar, Malaysia, Thailand and Indonesia for a mini-summit during the one-day special meeting on irregular migration in Indian Ocean on May 29 in Bangkok to discuss further on the crisis. Meanwhile, after a bilateral meeting with Thai Deputy Foreign Minister Don Pramutvina in Bangkok, Myanmar's Deputy Foreign Minister Tan Kyo says the crisis requires effort from all related nations in order to be resolved. So if they are Myanmar's and if they show that their residency is from Myanmar, I think uh, Myanmar government has the obligation to bring back. So uh, uh, we need to know who really are you know, uh, Myanmar citizens. He says Myanmar is thinking of sending a delegation for the May 29 meeting in Bangkok.